Hitler Youth, Growing Up in Hitler's Shadow, by Susan Campbell Bartoletti offers a poignant exploration of the lives of young individuals caught in the web of Nazi ideology during World War II. Through a compelling narrative and meticulously researched accounts, Bartoletti unveils the chilling indoctrination and manipulation tactics employed by the Nazi regime to mold an entire generation into fervent supporters of Hitler's vision. Bartoletti's book provides a comprehensive overview of the Hitler Youth Organization, delving into its origins, structure, and objectives. She skillfully depicts the progression from its seemingly innocent beginnings as a youth club to its transformation into a paramilitary group that played a crucial role in advancing Nazi propaganda and warfare. By intertwining individual stories with broader historical context, Bartoletti paints a vivid picture of how ordinary German youths were gradually enticed into the clutches of an extremist ideology. One of the book's strengths lies in its portrayal of the emotional and psychological experiences of the Hitler youth members. Bartoletti draws from a wide range of primary sources, including diaries, letters, and interviews, to capture the complex range of feelings these young people grappled with. From initial excitement and camaraderie to later doubts and moral conflicts, the author exposes the internal struggles of adolescents torn between loyalty to their country and the unsettling truths they begin to uncover. Through meticulous research, Bartoletti also highlights the gendered nature of the Hitler youth. While boys were groomed for future military service, girls were prepared for motherhood and domesticity, reflecting the Nazis' rigid gender roles. By elucidating these distinctions, the book not only portrays the stark realities of life under Nazi rule but also underscores the regime's efforts to manipulate and control all aspects of young lives. Furthermore, Bartoletti underscores the insidious nature of propaganda in shaping the beliefs of the Hitler youth. The regime inundated children with carefully crafted messages that vilified perceived enemies and glorified Aryan supremacy. By analyzing propaganda materials, speeches, and slogans, Bartoletti illuminates how the Nazi regime exploited impressionable minds, exploiting their vulnerabilities to further its ideological agenda. The author also addresses the moral culpability of the Hitler youth members. As the war effort intensified and atrocities came to light, some youths began to question their involvement and the morality of their actions. Bartoletti skillfully navigates this ethical terrain, demonstrating how peer pressure, fear of retribution, and a distorted sense of duty often kept young individuals tethered to the Nazi cause, despite their reservations. Bartoletti's book extends its analysis to the post-war period, exploring the diverse paths that former Hitler youth members took in confronting their pasts. Some grappled with guilt and sought redemption, while others attempted to distance themselves from their involvement. By examining these post-war trajectories, the author elucidates the lasting impact of the Hitler youth experience on individuals' identities and worldviews. In conclusion, Hitler Youth, Growing Up in Hitler's Shadow offers a compelling and insightful analysis of the indoctrination, manipulation, and moral dilemmas faced by young Germans under Nazi rule. Susan Campbell Bartoletti's skillful weaving of individual stories, historical context, and propaganda analysis creates a rich tapestry that not only educates readers about a dark chapter in history but also prompts reflection on the malleability of youth in the face of extremist ideologies. Through its nuanced portrayal of the Hitler youth experience, the book stands as a stark reminder of the importance of critical thinking, moral courage, and historical awareness in safeguarding against the manipulation of future generations.